Yes, got it. Awesome, it looks like we're starting. Yay, it is. Oh, I need to get my, hang on you guys. I'm so sorry, I'm there. I don't know what happened to the video. Are Wait we on Facebook, Kenny? We're on both, I think. Oh, great. So, all right, so hey, good morning, everybody. This is Karen O'Neill. I'm your um, co-hostess with Jennifer Neals. And we are starting our Monday morning chat. We love to call it the Monday morning miracle call for good reason. The things that the patches do for us just seem miraculous sometimes. But I do love to remind everybody that it really is very solid science. So as we get going, what you need to do is um, put your hand up. Natalie has her hand up. I'm going to call on her first. And I just check and uh, look and see who's got their hands up. And I call on you. And when you share your story, be as brief as you can, but get in as, you know, all the details that are necessary. Basically say how it was before, what patch you use, and then what were your results. Um, try to leave out many, many details so we can get more people in, you know, but do try to tell the whole story. Just use your judgment, but, uh, you know, just try to keep it kind of short. You know, about, we say 30 seconds, a little more is okay. Um, so please come on in. Remember, we do not make any claims that we diagnose, treat, or cure any named disease. What we do is we use the patches. The patches put your body in this wonderful healing position for your, your body can just heal itself and do its own thing. It doesn't put any drugs into you. It's non-invasive. Um, it's fabulous. So come on in, Natalie. Unmute and let's hear your story today or your question. Oh, uh, story. So I got bit by fire ants, and after two days of misery, it dawned on me to stick the patches on some of the fire ant bites, but I didn't want to use, I had 10 bites, I didn't want to use a pen of my X-39. So I put it on a couple of them. Overnight, within, you know, within 24 hours, immensely different. All the ones that I had not put it on still looked absolutely horrible, and in fact, out of curiosity, I let the others go, and two weeks later, you can still see where the ones are that I did not put the X-39 on. Woo, you had a test group. That's awesome. That sounds pretty scientific to me. <laughs> That's awesome. So fire ant bites, they hurt. So that is wonderful. Thank you, Natalie. And perfect, told perfectly. Okay, let's go with John Ward. And then Jerry, then Peter. Let's go in that order. Okay, so I'm going to leave my camera off because I'm painting baseboard, but uh, I had the, the privilege to go to the Tampa regional meeting and the testimonies that I heard from oh, just umpteen people, it was blow away. You think these are blow away, those were blow away also, and two of them came from two 80 year, 82 year old people. And one of them is, is a guy I met. He's actually from Naples. And um, he tra he's a trainer. He's a masseuse. He competes in swimming, biking, and running at 82. The, the lady that got up and spoke was 82, a construction worker. And still today. And her, her testimony was just she she couldn't work and now she went dancing off the stage and just it was incredible and you know people with with pain and it it was it was just enlightening and and there were some others that were that were they were using disease state words which I was a little shocked and even David answered some of those questions that way uh, but, um, and I won't repeat what those were, but they were incredible. So it, it was, it was a great, great time in Tampa. Oh, I love that. Thank you, John. And yeah, we do, we get so used to what the patches do. Sometimes we forget how really phenomenal they are and we get taken for granted. So thank you. Oh, all right. That was perfect. Thank you. Come on in, Jerry. Don't forget to unmute. 
Good morning, everybody. I have some testimonials, but because of time, I have two customer questions I was trying to get answered, and I know we can't use diagnoses, so I'm going to say it this way. One is, is there someone that uses a patch that has these um, veins in their legs that, um, you know, accumulate with blood? That was one of the questions, if there's a uh, patch that's good for that. And the other one is for blood when it gets clogged together in that, uh, is there a patch that's used for that in the blood, in a blood disorder? I don't know if anybody has an answer. I do really like to recommend you get on the doctor calls. Or yeah, I do that to too. I, about I those just, two. Yeah, there's just so much information on these. I just threw it out there just in case. Yeah, uh, that's one, fine. One of my testimonials is my 95 year old father, whom I know his stem cells have been dead a long time, has had remarkable, remarkable uh, things happening to him. Plus, he had been in deep, deep depression for years because of the death of his wife. And when he was on it about eight days, I had to leave. I'm in Florida. He's in Pittsburgh. And I called him and he said, I don't know what's happening, but he says, I'm not in that black hole. I feel good. Everything's great. So that was one of them. He has about eight of them. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Thank you Karen, so much. Karen, it's yeah. Robin. And Thanks, I, Robin. I, yeah, did you, I, a blood clotting is a symptom. Um, if that's the symptom, I just want to share a story. Thank um, you. When, um, <clears throat> when the Eon patch was brand new, Dr. Joan developed blood clots in her lungs. She has thick blood. And they were in Costa Rica and she was having a sonogram done and they didn't know much about the Eon patch at all. And by the way, the patches do way more than we talk about, just so you know that. And Dr. Nicholas was waving a bag of Eon patches over her lung while she was having a sonogram done. And they literally watched the clots dissolve oh, and they wow. have proof. They have wow. Proof. I know it's a wow. It's definitely a wow. So it's a good to know. Ian is one of those patches you always want to have around, always. Yes. Thank you, Robin. You're Thank welcome. You. That is fabulous. And Robin, the story you told last year about the guy, uh, last week, about the guy who'd been in pain for 40 some years, that stayed with me all week. I shared that with so many people. And you guys, that's what's beautiful about this. Like these are powerful stories. All of them are really powerful stories. So thank you. You're welcome. All right, I think we're going to, Peter, right? Peter? All right. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. So I have to show someone to you. Can you see Bella the kitty? Oh, yes. Hi, Bella. <laughs> so Bella is 19 plus years old. She's been experiencing the signs of aging for the last few years, at least. We've been putting X39, 49, Eon, Glutathione around her and on her kitty toys. And she is like the energizer bunny. She is the kitty that just keeps on ticking. It's clear that the patches have been having a profound impact on her overall health and longevity. And I guess in cat years, she's what, 183 years old or something now? <laughs> and uh, she's experiencing a lot of joy and comfort. Uh, right now we're using Ice Wave on her and you know, she may be getting close to the end of her third dimensional life, but I think that she's enjoying a higher quality of life, much higher quality of life and has been for many, many months as a result of this technology. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just, you know, cats don't lie. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Perfect, perfectly told also. Sunshower, Sunshower Rose, what a gorgeous name. Good morning, Karen and everybody. Um, I wanna say my usual testimony that some people haven't heard before. So when I first uh, was introduced to X39, 
my homeopath, uh, who I've entrusted my health to for 35 years, said, just put it where it hurts. Well, I'd been hurting under my left rib cage for 17 years after a slight injury, slight, <laughs> it caused this kind of pain for that many years. And in two days, that pain was gone and has not returned. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Congratulations. Thank and you. And look how beautiful you are. <laughs> oh, well, I, I know I'm getting younger because my hair is getting darker and everything. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> uh, you know, people don't want to live to a really old age if they think they're going to age normally. Right. But we have our, we know it's so cool. We're getting younger. Love it. Okay, may I just, add, can I just add my other testimony really quick? Sure, um, yeah. I'm working with a young man, 13, that I've never met, but I know his great grandmother. And he has a situation where he does the tick thing and he, he loses control of his own behavior. And um, thus far, the only thing that was able to be afforded is Eon, and that's already helping him within weeks. But I'm going to gift him a month's worth of X39, and we know what that's going to do. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to hear the stories that are going to come. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sunshower. That's beautiful. Thanks. All right. Now we've got Shannon and then Dr. Tom. We got more great lineup. Thank you so much. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, this is Shannon in Colorado Springs. It's actually snow outside. I can't believe we had a foot of snow. As you well know, Karen, you live in the Springs area. Um, so the weekend before, however, we were up in the mountains with the family and I had a chance to see my sister-in-law who was complaining of a red spot on her face and she's very fair skin complected and she said it was really itchy and I looked at it I was like hmm that's not looking so good so to prevent her from scratching it I said why don't we just put this eon patch right there and you can leave it on for 12 hours in fact since she hadn't been wearing patches for a while I said just leave it on for 24 hours just to keep her from scratching it. So she, she um, went to see my mother-in-law a couple days later um, and had obviously taken the patch off and she was surprised that that red spot was completely gone. So that was exciting. It's like, wow, I've got to share that this morning. So that's my story. Happy news. That's wonderful. Thank you, Shannon. You're more than welcome. Thank you. And now Dr. Tom, one of my favorite doctors in the whole world. Well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Karen. Great stories. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm putting my, my bag of Eon together here. <laughs> Just wave it over people. Take, you know, maybe, maybe take it onto the, onto the subway. Just wave it over. Uh, a little bit of feedback for uh, Jerry earlier and what Robin pointed to with circulation issues. Uh, we had a lady with uh, some swelling and some open wounds on her legs. Uh, which sometimes happens in long standing, right? Um, and the reason Eon works so great, by the way, is because you know the body can't do it in the moment, can't handle that inflammation or that circulation, that blood pressure change, which is which is good news, right? It's good news that it can't do it, but we can we have a way of putting the body back into a place where it's supported in the moment as they're making the changes, right? So it can do it later. Um, but what we did was. You can put ice wave and or energy enhancer at the bottoms of the feet. Um, and because it's a circulation issue, uh, remember, it's usually, a, a, you know, these people who have these issues are longstanding uh, pathologies. And, it, and you could actually put a carnosine right over the sternum, right over the heart. Uh, and it might be good since, you know, Robin was talking about Eon, it might be good even to stack the carnosine and the Eon right on the sternum, right? Give the heart some extra squeeze there. Awesome. Yeah. I got a, I got a nice little personal breakthrough too to share. Awesome. One of the first things I noticed using X39 a year and a half ago, um, and by the way, shout out to Ann Morrow, who if it hadn't been her, uh, realistically, I probably never would have put X39 on my body, right? But it, you know, we, we, we can be such change agents for people um, who love us, trust us. But one of the first things that happened to me was I, 
in addition to feeling stronger in my athletic work, I started remembering my dreams even more deeply, which was really interesting, sleeping deeper. And uh, I guess my body either had gotten kind of used to that and it hadn't been a big deal or uh, whatever. Last night, I decided I was going to put an eon right on my third eye and energy enhancer at my temples. And for whatever reason, I woke up this morning with uh, out of a very, very vivid dream of uh, me. Yeah, my fan club. Amen. <laughs> <clears throat> but I, uh, the dream, I won't go into all of it, but I was teaching a yoga class in, uh, on this really beautiful dock and I had thrown my yoga mat in, in the water. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, I've been very busy lately and I've let my, my yoga go, right? And so I woke up out of the dream, A, very amused, and B, uh, realizing, wow, you know what? These patches un unlocked something that I knew I knew but I didn't have words to say it, right? So all kinds of new vivid stuff happens. We, we never know what's going to appear. And uh, <laughs> I thank Eon. Now that I have my bag of Eon, I will uh, practice my yoga the way I know to do it today. Wow, that yep. is awesome. Is that fun? <clears throat> thank, thank you. I need to... Thank, thank you. That was awesome. I love it. I love hearing those stories and, and that vivid dream thing is, it's amazing what it can remind us of. So Jennifer, come on in. You are next, Miss Jennifer Starr. Hi, good morning. I had the funniest incident um, this week on Thursday. Um, I, I My eyes have been bugging me for the last two weeks. It's like, Okay, first of all, when I started the X39 patch, I had some experiences with floaters and, and things and had, and Robin reminded me, well, she asked me, have you had any eye injuries? No, uh, have you had any head in injuries? And it, it occurred to me that a year before I'd had a head injury and had that same effect in my eye. And it took a couple of weeks and it went away and I've had no issues in the seven months since. Uh, and then this last couple of weeks, I started seeing, I mean, it just seemed like little waves of blurriness and tired eyes at the end of the day. And I, so I started using Eon and Carnosine uh, on my temples and forehead at night. And it didn't seem to be getting better. So I went into the ophthalmologist and he said, well, I'll tell you what, your eyes are in perfect health. Um, you have just reversed your eyesight though. You are back to where you were 15 years ago in your <laughs> eyesight. Your glasses aren't working anymore. We need to quickly get some new lenses. I couldn't believe it. And it was, it was inconvenient, but super exciting, you know, to think, wow, okay, my eye health is that much better. So anyway, that's my fun story this that's week. Absolutely. Wonderfully fun. <laughs> and, you know, that's why we call it the Monday morning miracle call. We know it's science, but oh my gosh, we just get so shocked over what happens sometimes. That is wonderful. Thank you, Jennifer. And we have Chris... Chris's iPad is next. All right. Good morning. I'm out here, but with um, a neighbor of Jennifer in Bend, Oregon. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, hi, Jennifer. Anyway, I have um, a one a testimony, and then I have a question also. Um, so I have a, a new distributor in Florida that um, has had joint pain ever since she had the vaccine, and she... Um, received the free ice wave with her distributorship. And I sent her the, the video that Dr. Jennings and Michelle made. And she watched the video <clears throat> and did exactly as they said. And she said she uh, found the pain spots, put it on and sat down, watched TV with her husband. And she stood up 
And all of a she just stood there. She didn't move. And her husband said, what's wrong? And she said, I'm not hurting. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's been in pain for the last two and a half years. And, um, uh, and now she's out of pain. And so my question is that, is there a way to reverse that, um, that body pain? And I have somebody else that I suspect might be in the same condition and their pain is mostly in their feet. And they're having a lot of it and it's pretty severe. Okay, that's a good question. I'll leave that out there. And actually, Robin and, or Gregory, one has their hand up and they might have an answer too. So, okay. If you have something to share and help Chris with, come on in. It's good to wait for other people other than me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But you were there and ready. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to say hello to you too. I'm sorry, I have nothing to offer here except a hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so, so she's got pain in her feet now. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, the, there's there's three three main ways to use ice wave. Um, I would try them all, and what I've done with people lately is I'm actually empowering them to trust their instincts there are the whole body pain points that are um there's several of them and you can find them in live younger success and on nittygrittybasics.com the one that a lot of us like is kidney one where the tan patch goes on the left foot and the white on the right and kidney one spot it's it's kind of between the second and third toes where the curve of the ball of the foot meets the curve of the other toes. And it's been a miraculous space for people, but you might want to try <clears throat> the patches on top and below the feet too. So I recommend people, you know, get some medical tape. You can pick it up at the drugstore and really play around. I mean, I'm loving like what Dr. Tom shared. It's just fun to try new things. You just right. don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> And the thing about pain that's interesting to know is there's layers of pain and pain moves around. And so trying different, what worked today might be different than what's going to work tomorrow. So just have fun exploring and sharing Dr. Jennings and Michelle's videos. Fabulous. I mean, I'm having so much fun crossing the joints. It's the clock method in an expanded way, but do cross the joint and amazing things can happen. So um, I would say try a few different things and then, you know, the videos are on the app and you can send those to people from the app of David, you know, demonstrating how to use ice wave and all the other patches too. So I think that's an underutilized at, you know, resource that we have and make sure that everyone gets the, the health tracker that you can also send from the app. Okay. And okay. I did use, I did have her use the um, ice wave on the kidney, on the ki kidney one point yesterday. And she, she texted me and said that was the best day she's had in months. Well, there so you go. You already know. <laughs> well, I'm, I was just wondering if there's a way to detox the effect of the vaccine out of the body um, um, besides glutathione. You know what? We can have a private conversation. I have some other ideas, but um, okay. uh, but David recommends X39EN and glutathione for anyone. You know, he did that test of people four, four months post vaccination and, and discovered you know, he was just being a scientist like David is. And after four months, 100% <clears throat> of people had um, spiked inflammatory markers. Uh -huh. So X39, Eon and glutathione are going to make a big difference for anyone that's having some symptoms. And there's other things too, but that's a great place to go. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. And while I'm unmuted, I just want to, Jennifer's story reminded me of a story I heard when I was in Mexico. I was visiting with this woman, very, very fit, very healthy, you know, just travels all over the world, takes incredible care of herself, diets clean as can be. You know, I asked her and she goes, I just keep using the patches, but I'm not noticing anything. And I said, so, uh, so I just started asking some questions. I said, so how's your eyesight? She goes, that's really funny that you asked that. She goes, my glasses are always on my head or on my face. They're never without them. And just recently I noticed that I couldn't find them. And so 
um, my eyes are getting better and I didn't even realize it because I couldn't even find my glasses. I didn't need them. So it, it is interesting how, you know, really pay attention to the little things because it's cumulative and it gets better and better over time. So it's very fun. Back to you, Karen. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, let's move on. Valerie, the lovely Valerie, come on in. Unmute. Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, great. How are you? Good. I just want to say um, Maureen introduced me to the patches and um, I went to one of those places, the vein doctors, those little vein places where they tell you they can um, eliminate the veins in your legs. I only did it because my dad was going. So I said, well, just let me get my legs checked out. So they said I was having um, problems in my right leg and I put the patches on. When I went back to a different doctor, they said it was gone. I didn't have the problem. And then, in, but it had moved up some kind of way. It moved up to my groin area where they said they had to take, burn out one of my veins. And I said, that's not going to happen. So I put, start putting the patches in that area. And I went to a different doctor for a second opinion and they said I did not need the surgery. Awesome. That's wonderful. I bet so, you were happy. <laughs> yes, because they told my burning out veins. I never heard of that before. So I said, oh no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't blame so, you. <laughs> I put the patches in those areas and then they said I did not have the problem. So I'm continuing to do that. Um, you know, put the patches in those areas, sort of maintain it, I guess. Wonderful. Fabulous. Thank you so much for sharing. That was a fabulous story too. Okay. And now we have Susan and then looks like Myrna. Yay. Come on. In, Susan. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, Susan in Tallahassee. And I wanted to speak to the question about detoxing the spike protein. Um, I have discovered an organization called the World Health Council, and it's a holistic group of doctors um, and other health experts that are committed to being, let's just say, more scientifically accurate in the reporting of information. They have a protocol on their website for using herbs and other holistic measures to very specifically assist the body in detoxing the spike protein. It's recommended for anybody who's either had the virus or people who have been vaccinated and they're constantly updating it. So that that's what I wanted to put in. And okay. oh, I do have to just very quickly also say, Robin, thank you so much for, I, it might've been last week or the week before Miracle Call mentioning Donnie, the veteran, as you know, I'm really trying to get the patches into the veteran organizations. I'm the daughter of a 30 year Marine and the widow of a Vietnam vet. Anyway, I was able to connect with, with Donnie. I'm ordering some of the books and I've watched his video and I just thank you. What an inspiration. Yeah. That's lovely. That is awesome. Yeah. That was story is phenomenal. It is. It really is. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on to Myrna. You guys are all doing perfectly. We're moving along, doing a great job and enjoying the stories. Don't forget to unmute. Yes, you got it. Okay. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Um, I have two testimonials. My brother uh, is in New York, and uh, last weekend uh, they have a half marathon at uh, in Brooklyn, and he's he told me that he was not really consistent of using the patch, and that's what I've been bugging him on. But he joined the marathon on Sunday, Sunday or Saturday this weekend. And he said he'll just gonna try if the patch is gonna help him. Uh, so he used two uh, X39 in each knee and X49 on his neck. And he told me that he really didn't also train. So he was just really seeing joining the marathon just to uh, enjoy it because he loves to run and lo and behold he said he's been doing the marathon and he finished it uh, faster than when than the last marathon that when he went 
And so it really worked. So I, he said, now I'm going to be really doing it more consistently. So that's one. And um, another one is, I don't know if I said already before, my mom was on diapers, was very incontinent. Uh, after using the X39, just the X39, uh, she's 85 years old, by the way. And after using it for eight months, uh, she was able to control her bowels. And in within a year, 11 months of using the X39 consistently, because I have a caregiver for her, you know, consistent, and she drinks a lot of water also. She's out of the diapers. And she's happy and she's uh, strong and able to walk by herself, which before she was not able to do. Thank you. You know, what's so beautiful about that is that normal aging, you're only going to get worse when you're in your 80s. And she's getting better. Yes, she is. <laughs> and uh, she's being well. able to walk every morning uh, longer and longer stretches like almost every day that's what she said she just told me because i talk to her every day oh i love that that's awesome thank you so much for sharing that was beautiful and we need some more hands up who else has a story i'll tell you hey really this is rita lose hi rita. My, uh my hand won't stay up for some reason well, i'm on. having technical problems with my hand but I want to share, since running seems to be the theme this morning, on Saturday, I did a 5K. For the first time in years, I ran. My goal was to run every step of the way I did, and I was the first woman over 80. Woohoo! Woo! That's fabulous. <laughs> Love and it. And there's no way I would be doing that without patches. Exactly. Exactly. That is awesome. And thank you for popping in because sometimes those hands are just naughty. <laughs> thank you. And <laughs> we have sun shower now coming back in. Come on in. I forgot to ask my question. <clears throat> oh, a person that has a uh, back. Uh, ooh, what do you say? Those things that are round and sometimes get herniated. Is that, is that okay to say? <laughs> for sure. Anyway. But anyway, that sounds like a symptom. <laughs> Uh, mid eighties male and uh, excruciating pain. So which of our patches, please? I'm gonna wait and see who wants to jump so, in. This is so Gregory. This is Gianni. Oh, hey, Gregory. Go ahead, Would Doc. you like me to share a couple thoughts? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, so I actually have that condition and um, it, it shortened my career as a massage therapist. Um, so my precious friend, Michelle, recommended X39, and I put it right there on L4, L5 region. And within days, that pain had substantially um, subsided. I would also recommend, um, now that I've learned more about these patches, um, obviously the, the Eon, the glutathione, which helps decrease inflammation and swelling. If the person wants relief right away, absolutely using the ice wave. And I know if um, Dr. Walter Young was on the call, he would say, put some energy enhancers on those as well. <laughs> so those are my um, go-to patches. I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you where to put them. I just put them on where the, the recommended um, locations are on the, on the labels or, the, or should I say the packages. So there you go. Uh, Hope that helps. Thank you perfect. so much, doctor. Yeah, you were the perfect person to chime in too. Gregory, did you have something to add? Uh, I will when I wrap things up. Yes, okay. about that. And maybe it's time for a wrap up and I'll yeah, just pick it back is, on that and we'll wrap it up. And, and thanks very much, Shannon. Um, I was just on the phone last night with uh, our friend William Malik from over in Thailand and he did a, uh, a wellness fair on Friday. And he said that this guy came up to the booth, big guy, he said he's about six foot three and well built. And, uh, you know, and he's got, you know, banners up and he says, you want to try one of our stem cell patches? He goes, sure. You know, and he goes, what's going, you know, and he starts talking with him. And this guy is a Kung Fu expert. Okay. And, and, and so William says, are you any pain? He goes, always. He goes, on what level? He goes, probably eight and a half. 
and this is he's already got a, a, a you know x39 on a uh, placed on c7 and he says well tell me about it he says well i i, I fractured three vertebrae or two or three ver, ver, you know c, you know c two three four something in the lower back and uh you know and, and so uh he says so william gives him some patches to uh uh, you know, says, why don't you go in, in the uh, go in the restroom and uh, and put them on that spot, you know? And so he goes in the restroom, puts them on the spot, and he said the guy came back about an hour later with tears in his eyes and said, it's down to a two. And that was X39 placed right over you know, the vertebrae that was, that was giving him a challenge. <laughs> so you think the guy's going to be a customer or distributor? Probably so. <laughs> so, uh, and that kind of tees it up for, you know, this evening, you know, Robin's idea was um, it's springtime and it's fun. We can get out of our houses finally. Right. Uh, except for you, Shannon, because you got a foot of snow. Right. <laughs> but most of us, it's springtime. And, you know, farmers markets, gatherings, and I'm just, you know, we want to discuss, and maybe we'll have some guests on that'll discuss ways to get out of, you know, sometimes the toughest door to get through is your own, and to get out of that door and out into the world and make contacts, you know, get out and go out and patch someone, you know, uh, as, as Judy likes to say, keep on patching. So today, uh, tonight on the call, we're going to discuss the concept of keep on patching uh, people in your own neighborhood, in your own church, in your own community, and getting around. So, and I'm sure there'll be a few other things because there's a newsletter be coming out from the company today, and we'll be talking about some of that information also. And Gregory, do we want to talk about next Monday too? Are we gonna? Oh, next to Monday. Yeah, we'll we'll mention next Monday. It is uh, Memorial Day, so we will not have a Monday morning or a Monday evening call in uh in you know honor of um the people that have gone before us that may not be here anymore um they're uh we're gonna celebrate memorial day uh, in your own way with your own family and your own community and that's a perfect way to get out i mean we have a big memorial day parade here in bozeman that we'll be attending and looking for friends old friends and new friends there so I see that Sylvester has your hand up. Was there something you wanted to add, Sylvester, uh, this, uh, before we bring this call to a wrap? And if so, just unmute yourself. Okay, I guess not. There I am. Can you hear oh, me now? Okay, go ahead, Sylvester. Do you want to add something before we wrap up today? Yeah, how are you guys doing? Sorry I'm so late. I kind of a new uh, distributor. And I've been patching people left and right. Uh, I have a <laughs> couple of folks that have some questions that I wanted to ask. I was talking to my uh, representative, uh, Kyra. She went over to Italy, so she'll be over there until July. Good. But one, one of the questions that I have, there's a young lady, was a, a golfing buddy of mine whose wife has, I mean, let me make sure I pronounce this right. And Sylvester, I'm just going to say real quick, as we, we try and keep these calls under 30 minutes, we're already at almost 40 okay. i wonder if we could do a, um I, i'm not sure whose line of sponsorship you're in but you know reach out to one of us me robin you know uh uh i, I i'm not sure but one of can help him robin i mean i mean gregory i can help him it's michelle yeah. sylvester and awesome. i have yeah, yes. I'll help. I'll help. Michelle, yeah. Real quick, can I just mention what the what yeah, go the ahead. Okay. Go ahead. It's called okay. fibromyalgia. Yeah, fibromyalgia. That's a new one. <laughs> okay. She was wondering if the X39 would help that. X39 helps everything. Say yes. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did. that's good. I got her a pack. I got her a pack. That's good. <laughs> oh, I know it's late, but my last um I did a bunch of tests with the natural doctor and I don't have any signs of the thyroid thing. That was kind of an autoimmune kind of thing. Uh -huh. No signs showing up after three years of using these patches. So who knows? That's so so is that the same thing? Well, it's the same type of reason that you get it. Okay. So she has it. 
I passed her. She's her husband bought her a pack, and uh, now they're uh, trying it for the thirty days. That's beautiful. That's All right, good. thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, thanks for chiming in, Sylvester. Have a good one. Hey, Gregory, can I give a plug for the August? Yes, go right ahead. So I will tell, uh, say, uh, share with you after being in Tampa and listening to David. He mm -hmm. he wasn't there, but he was live on Zoom. Yes. Do not miss if you can get to Orlando, get there. And if if you can't, make sure you get the streaming, because what he is sharing beyond patches is blow away. <laughs> literally blow away and and i was just shocked and i hadn't heard it before so it, it was it was awesome well john maybe and, we'll get you on the on the monday evening call to share a little bit with us <laughs> yeah i'll do that that'd be awesome thank you okay okay all right if everyone would like to unmute and say uh, uh say goodbye or good morning uh, have a wonderful Monday. Bye, all. Happy Mondays. Happy Bye. Mondays. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye. I just Bye. placed my enrollment Bye. order. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.